Vinny, an absolute brilliant night. Your voice is nearly gone here. Well, how can you put that into words? Um, it's it's difficult because you know party is almost frustrated in terms of the performance at times. But then look, um, we showed fighting spirit. I think as a as a football club, uh, the 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 supporters tonight um, really got behind the team, dragged us over the line. Um, I don't think over the two games there's any doubt the right team have gone through. But at the same time, like. You know, we had to deal with all sorts of throw-ins, corners. Every throw-in is the same as a corner. And our players really dug in and what's been a really, really difficult time for them. Um, and our supporters really dug in for us. So um, I've been saying for a long time that the loss of supporters out of this ground is a huge blow to this football club. Like anybody from a financial point of view, but I mean from, a, from what it takes. This is a difficult place to come and get a result. And when you've got people like that behind you, uh, we're a formidable force, so um, I just I, I I think look I I think the, the performance of say Moyoa today, like he's one of our own. He's from having them more, maybe you know, but that'd be harsh on someone like Pat Hoban, who was a real real leader. And people question some of our guys, and you look at Pat's performance tonight it was sensational. Daryl he uh, uh, people wonder why he played centre half instead of left back. He played there because he can't really run properly. And he, he came in and said, I'll play for the team. So that's what it takes um, as, a, as a club. Uh, and we've stuck together. And, and despite all the noise, we've stuck together as a club. And that's probably one of the most proudest uh, I've ever been. And I certainly wasn't one of our best performers. But very proud of the, at the whole football club there tonight. Supporters and the players. And it's, it's really a great night for us. How difficult has the last 24 hours been? You can see the team selection there is an awful lot of speculation and stuff going around yesterday. How difficult has it been to, to prepare and get a team ready for tonight? Uh, it's been really difficult um, uh, um, in terms of so many different bits and pieces and people speculating about people's health. It um, doesn't sit well with me. I'm very disappointed about that. Um, um, that's not good enough and I'm not accepting that. So, uh, look, we're in a difficult situation, um, but... Um, the players, to be fair to them, have dug in. Um, I didn't know whether I need a psychology in the club or Tommy Tiernan and have a bit of a laugh. Uh, I don't know. So we didn't do either. And to be fair, um, I demanded of the players to go up another level tonight. And I think from a work break point of view, they've done that. They can show more quality at times. But, you know, um, we, we're in the next round of the cup. We made it difficult for ourselves on Friday night. Um, but again, it's another three goals. Um, so three goals, two nights in a row is is quite good and something we can build on. Yeah, when I went to extra time, the, the the schedule, the recent schedule, and even the options on the bench, I think most people would have been thinking we'll run out of steam. But we were brilliant in extra time. Yeah, I think um, look, people have, have criticised certain sections of this club, but they've they've criticised um, the medical department. They, they, that that result for them is is huge for them. They've done huge. Yes, it's a change in medical department. Yes, it's um, um, it needs improvement. But uh, some of the people that have worked so hard, um, Sean Tiernan as a physiotherapist has been brilliant. Dan, Danny Miller has worked his backside off, and um, Graham Norton unfortunately wasn't here tonight uh, for for illness reasons. So um, they, them three in particular have been outstanding for us, and, and our doctor obviously. So. Um, it's been difficult, but as a club, as I keep saying, we stuck together despite what everyone else is saying. I'm sure we, when we won one nil down, probably most people in the rest of the league were laughing. Uh, but we've come out the right side of it tonight, and um, we, we we've got something to fight for now. Yeah, the emotion going around the ground when Mickey's free kick hit the net. I seen you're nearly in the you're nearly in the centre and the centre circle, but I think that's you can see it all around the place. It's just been weeks of frustration, sort of lifted off our shoulders. Yeah, it's it's the first time Michael's done that in, in about seven or eight years. I said to him, he does it every day in training. So, um, look, uh, big players step up and make big moments. And uh, maybe I probably got a bit carried away, but I can't express how difficult it has been around this uh, football club. For me personally, for my own family, uh, you're worrying about people. You're worried about people's... I mean, when people start speculating about a club yesterday, a lot of the players contacted me. The results weren't even in, and our players were worried. They were worried about their families, uh, mothers and fathers, and different partners. So it's been difficult. Uh, so maybe that was just uh, the emotion came out of me. But look, just very proud of the players tonight. Very proud, as I said, of, of, of the team and the supporters. They stuck together despite everything else, and um, huge credit. And I keep saying, look, look at Daryl Lee. He playing centre half because he, he can't run properly. 
and you've done an amazing job alongside, as I said, one of our own YOS. So very proud of the team tonight. And just finally, we, we can park there. We're in the semi-final. We can park that now for a couple of weeks. Another huge game Friday and another one Monday. If we can get that support back in, do you know? Yeah. Do you know? It, it'll be fantastic. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. And uh, um, we've got 10, 11 games, 10 games to turn this around between now and the end of the season. And I think we will. But uh, there's no real green shoots. I think David McMillan, Patrick McElhenney are back running. Um, and then there's a couple of lads with sickness. They're not all COVID issues, but the sickness uh, in, a, in and around our group as well. So um, just just uh, people have to back us and, and support us as best they can. And understand, as I said, there'll be difficult moments between now and um, the end of the season. But as a club, we, we have to fight and fight together and um, uh, just forget the noise and stick together. Brilliant. Hold on, Brilliant.